DataKind is a nonprofit dedicated to tackling the world's toughest problems, data science. And we do that by connecting pro bono data scientists, people whose day jobs are in Wall Street or Silicon Valley, to work and volunteer their time with mission driven organizations, be those charities, nonprofits, NGOs, so that together they can collaboratively use data to better address their problems and make a bigger impact on the world. In many ways, they're more challenging and more demanding than some of the problems that people are facing at work. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for people to stretch and grow and learn whilst giving back to the community. I would say we can't go a day without hearing about more people getting involved in the Data for Good movement, whether that's through DataKind or even other groups that are starting to pop up. Um, as I mentioned before, the chapter network, to me, it was a huge sign of the movement spreading. Uh, one thing that we found is there is no lack of demand for mm. these services. We have over 200 organizations who have applied to us looking to receive some kind of data science services. Um, on the other side, I should mention, we also have over 5,000 people who have signed up to volunteer. Probably more now across the chapter yep. network. So there's, there's demand on both sides for this. Um, but when we're looking for organizations to work with, really look for a couple of key ingredients. Um, in particular, we look for really an organizational buy-in. You know, is this an organization where from the top down to the lowest field level person who's working with the data themselves down in the trenches, uh, are they really committed to using data science to improve their organization? And I do think the what's nice about the people in this room and a lot of the groups that DataKind mm -hmm. has worked with is that we really see them as visionaries themselves. Yes. It's not that we're coming in to show them all the light about data. A lot of these people are incredibly dedicated to yep. fulfilling their missions and using data science in a way that can help them do it. So we really see these as partnerships with visionary nonprofits who are starting to think this way. When a lot of people hear about these projects, they expect to focus on the really cool visualization that comes out of it, what fancy model was built. But frankly, one of the biggest and highest impact wins that you get from these projects are the increase in data literacy yeah. for a lot of organizations. That could be as small as just understanding how to ask the question better mm -hmm. next time or knowing how to converse with data scientists about what your needs are, but it ranges yeah, to... Or, or, or knowing what not to do. I mean, this yeah. is a, a phrase you will hear a lot in the data science community, fail fast. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't mean that failure is good in itself. But it means that if, you, if you're going to, two things. Firstly, failing fast is a lot cheaper than failing slow. Um, but secondly, uh, if you're going to fail, that in itself gives learnings. You exactly. learn not to go and do the same thing again. Um, and that can be hugely valuable for organizations as well. Well, I think data science is going through the same definition that computer science went through in the 80s and 90s, where computer science was an umbrella term for really anyone working with a computer at all. And similarly now, anyone working with data could technically fall under data scientist. Uh, and so as such, I think we see a, a very similar cross-section of those skills from people who can collect data to transform it, mm -hmm. some who know statistical modeling. Um, I've seen some great people here who have great visualization skills, who are using Tableau and other tools to look at the data, others who are building statistical models or text analysis of some Pyridox problems. So uh, I'm very proud that at all of these data kind events, we get a wide representation of people from business intelligence, through programming, to statistics, all to show up, and it's a really great diversity of skills. Pro bono is, it can be part of the data science movement, and that's something else that we're starting to see uh, across data scientists and even across companies, like here at Teradata, this idea that pro bono should be part of our profession. That if no one bats an eye at pro bono law, why not have pro bono data science? So there's no day that goes by that we don't see uh, more people joining that movement. Well, Teradata has been a huge supporter of DataKind for two years now, and we really couldn't have done a lot of what we've done without them. Uh, they've helped us throw a data dive in the UK. Yeah. It was one of the first that we did it with was, yes. DataKind UK. Uh, and they've also funded a number of our data core projects, our projects that last for about nine months where people work in teams part-time. Uh, they actually allowed us to complete projects with the Mission Continues and Medic Mobile. Uh, which are two fantastic nonprofits, and without charity to support, we wouldn't have been able to work with. So they've been uh, material supporters, but also philosophical supporters for us, really. They are leading the way in using data philanthropy and thinking about how to use their skills for good. So they're perfectly mission aligned with us, and we really look forward to doing a lot more good with them together.